I think as we walk away, uh, two very powerful images uh, stood out to me as someone who teaches on war and uh, World War II, primarily in, in Nazi Germany and the Holocaust. But the idea of war after war, I think we've all echoed that, that there is often a war after the war. And then again, back to, as Tomer mentioned, the closed mouth speaks and the importance of conversation and dialogue. And I think Soldier Song has given us this unique moment uh, as we remember Veterans Day and as we think about these issues, has given us this very creative moment uh, to uh, use art as an entry point to what is a very important issue. Uh, I think for us. So thank you uh, for inviting me uh, to join uh, and thank you for such a wonderful performance and a wonderful panel. Thank you. I uh, also, before we, we leave, I want to uh, touch the point of pride and uh, uh, the, the richness of the experience. One of the things that we spend a lot of time talking uh, while working on this production is the fact that the experience of being in the Army is not something that can be portrayed in a movie, not can be portrayed in a play or in a novel. Being there, maybe that's why you can never talk about it. And the kind of experiences, the kind of friendship, camaraderie, and pride that you come out of it uh, are forever with you. And I think that at the end of this piece, uh, when the child comes uh, and you hear this celestial music of, uh, I wish I could tell you that everything is going to be all right. Uh, it may not be all right, but I'm here. And that's the idea. And so thank you for being here tonight with us. Uh, I would love to see you all outside uh, and answer some questions along with the composer and with the baritone. And thank you to the Atlanta Opera for uh, helping us build such a rich cultural community. Uh, we appreciate it. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you.